On Friday, January 27th, 2017, President Trump issued an executive order suspending the Syrian refugee program and temporarily banning entries for people coming in from Iraq, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Yemen, and Syria. The backlash has been fierce, and public figures from around the world have voiced their outrage. On one hand, this is understandable, given the humanitarian implications. However, one has to ask, where was this outrage when the refugee crisis was being created? Where was the righteous indignation in 2011 when the Obama administration toppled the Libyan government? First by sending in the CIA to back rebel groups, that ended up having direct ties to Al-Qaeda, and then using airstrikes to finish the job. Prior to this intervention, Libya had one of the highest standards of living of any country in Africa. They even had free health care. Today, the country is a failed state, plagued by ongoing violence. That's why these people are trying to escape. And where was the righteous indignation in 2012, when the U.S. began providing weapons, money, and training to rebel groups in Syria in an attempt to overthrow Assad? Even at the time, it was known that most of these weapons were ending up in the hands of jihadists. And it was no secret that these groups were committing horrific atrocities. Again, why do you think these people are trying to escape? And then there was Yemen, where the Obama administration quietly supported Saudi Arabia's bombing campaign for over a year before finally getting their hands dirty and launching direct airstrikes in 2016. This warmongering continued till the very end. Here's a map of where the 26,171,000 bombs Obama dropped in just the last year of office fell. You know, it seems to me that the inhabitants of these countries would have preferred that you stand up against the wars that destroyed their homeland before and while it was happening, rather than take issue of where they are allowed to go in the aftermath. Just saying. None of this is a defense of Trump's order. It doesn't make any sense that Iran be included on the list while Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, and Egypt get a free pass, especially considering that Saudi Arabia is the most prolific purveyor of Wahhabi extremism in the world. Unless, of course, you look at this through a geopolitical lens. Which brings us back to the real crux of the issue. War. After eight years of covering for Obama's foreign policy, the left already has a credibility problem. And the current strategy of throwing temper tantrums at Trump's each and every turn, which started before he took office, isn't helping. Inside your echo chamber, you might feel like revolutionaries. But from the outside, your selective outrage reeks of hypocrisy and lowbrow partisanship. You're also burning through your ammunition before the battles that are really going to count like another war or an expansion of police state powers. Make no mistake, Trump is just getting warmed up.